Today we want to look at the end-to-end -end visibility that we have through real-time monitoring and control up. This means that we can start at the hypervisor layer itself and drill down into processes and sessions in order to find the root cause of troubles that we might be finding elsewhere in the environment, things that we see in our mon monitoring grid here. Today we see that data store NFS has a lot of read-write IOPS and we need to get to the bottom of it and find out what's going on. So let's double click on the ESX server. We leave that up at the top as a parent record and we see all of the computers, all of the VMs that are running on that specific host. If you sort by virtual disk read IOPS, in this case, we can see that this specific computer, CURDSH01, is the one responsible for all of this activity on the host today. Double click on the computer, and now we get a list of sessions that are all being hosted on that partic particular computer. This session list is sor short enough that we don't need to do a sort, but we could sort and see that the read operations are coming from this specific session. Double click the session and now we see all the processes within that session, within that computer, within that host. And dynamo.exe is the responsible party here in causing all of the I.O. operations. At this point we could right click on the process and use one of our management actions to kill the process if needed or we can right click on the session and use one of the management actions to say get a screenshot so that we can see exactly what that process is. In this case it's IO meter. Or we can do any number of other actions that are possible within the program in order to remediate the situation. This is another example of how IT insights come to you when we're using ControlUp.